What? You what you doing? I'm making a video for Circle Star Farm about what we did today. Oh. Oh, all the work we did. So we needed a little normalcy here at Circle Star Farm after doing storm cleanup for like a week. And we decided yesterday we were going to go to the plant orphanage and adopt some poor plant orphans. In other words, we went to the, uh, uh, we went to one of our favorite places, which is Brownlee Nursery, and we got vegetables. And then we went to Lowe's because we needed drain field rock, and we can't just get drain field rock at Lowe's, so we got flowers. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show y'all what we did. All right. So we got, we had the shepherd's hook already, but we got flowers for our bees and butterflies. And we've already had lots of bees and butterflies. So there's flowers there. And this is actually a hanging blueberry, which was really fun. And then we planted the garden. Dun, dun, dun. So it doesn't look like much now because we literally just planted everything. But in the pots you've got down here are green pepper and yellow pepper seeds. Um, so we'll wait for those to germinate and then we'll transplant them. And then the, we've got onions in this row. So that bunch you see right there is some green onion. Otherwise, there's a few onion bulbs that we had left over actually from last year that are underground right now. Um, but the rest of our onion plants, 96 of them, um, that's a lot of onions, are coming like the second week of November from uh, Dixondale Farms in Texas, which is my favorite place to get onions. And then down in that pot, way down there, we've got some more green onion seeds waiting to germinate. And then we have beans. This, there's a trellis here, if you can see it. It's actually cattle fence. Um, the people that owned the house before us left us a bunch of cattle fence, and we're like, we will use that. And we actually made a trellis with a couple of T posts, and we've got beans planted along the base of the trellis. So we'll have beans coming up. Um, and then we have tomatoes. We have a couple different varieties of tomatoes. Um, Brownlee had uh, Cherokee purple tomatoes, which we've never grown, so those would be fun. And then we got our Florida variety tomatoes, which he always has, which produce like crazy in Florida, so we love those. And we have green peppers over here because peppers and tomatoes do pretty well together. So we got our green peppers. And then in this mess that doesn't look really like anything right now, there's um, carrots, carrot seeds and radish seeds are growing in there and hopefully they'll pop up. And then over here we have some broccoli. We've got six broccoli plants, plants in this row. And then in between the broccoli, we actually plant some beet seeds. We've never grown beets before, but we'll see what they do. And then we'll eventually have, um, eventually, We'll also have um, potatoes, but they don't actually go in until later. So, um, so we don't have those planted yet. So we're really excited about that. Um, like I said, we needed some normalcy around here. You'll hear a lot of people from Florida say that I just need something normal. And for us, this is our planting time of year. We're actually a little behind. So it's good to have that garden in the ground and have some vegetables going. We also got, which we were excited about finding this too. Let me turn the camera back around. We planted that little guy. This little guy right here, he is a raspberry bush. So we have raspberries. Um, and this is our blueberry bush from last year, which produced, he needs to be weeded, but he produced like crazy. And we've had several people say, oh, you need at least two uh, blueberry bushes to have produced. No, you don't. There's actually a variety of blueberry that are self-pollinating and that's what he is. This is actually another blueberry um, bush because we love blueberries. Um, and there's another hanging one over there. So we're going to have a lot of blueberries this year, hopefully. And then these, this one and that guy over there, those are blackberries. And we gave them a little trellis to climb up as well. So we've got, um, we're hopefully going to have quite a bit of produce this year, we hope. Um, we'll see how things go. Um, but we're looking forward to that. We're looking forward to having potatoes again. We had tons of potatoes last year. That was fun. And then yesterday we were getting ready to do, um, we were cleaning out the old garden. And... Uh, we had let our sweet potatoes go. We were just like, yeah, I don't know if the sweet potatoes are actually doing anything. We'll just let the vines do whatever they want. And uh, totally shocked to find like a total sweet potato haul. So we have tons of sweet potatoes right now to eat. I'm gonna pan around too and show you guys the backyard. We've done a ton of cleanup. There's still a lot to do. So that area over there, we've cleaned out quite a bit. We got the composters back where they were supposed to be. Um, that was the old garden over there where you see those blue boxes. Um, so the trellis, we got the trellises out of there today. Um, there's still a few bags of fill dirt over there. Um, but all the limbs that were down, all the branches that were down in that area, we've cleaned all of that out. Um, we still have a hanging branch. Let me walk closer. 
I still have this big hanging limb back here. And we're just kind of waiting for it to fall. Again, it's not, it's not going to hurt anything. Like, when this one comes down, he just comes down. So, he's big, but he's not going to hurt anything. We still have a little bit more debris back here to clean up. Um, but we've gotten so much out of this. Um, and this is our brush pile that we're going to have to burn here pretty soon. Um, yeah, and then the back pasture, we've done one sweep through already. We need to go back and do probably two or three more sweeps and get more stuff out of there. But it's really looking a lot better. We've done a lot of cleanup over by the well house. Um, put a lot of rock back in by the well house because we were going to wash out. So things are really looking a lot better up here for sure. There's our little back patio. There's the house. So roof looks good. Everything looks pretty good right now. All right, guys, stay safe. Love y'all. Take care. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.